Hey, what's going on, you guys? And welcome back to a quick little weather update for you all here on Saturday night. Hope y'all are having a great night here so far. Hope you guys are having a great weekend in general. Uh, but so we have ourselves a bit of information that we are going to be discussing in this little quick episode here. Uh, in regards to the tropics, we have some new activity in the Atlantic and the Pacific. We'll be talking about that here in a moment. We'll also be paying attention about the severe weather that we are expecting here across the nation for tomorrow. We have ourselves some more severe weather that is expected. We're not going to be live for it. It's not supposed to be too crazy, but I'll let you know all about it here in a minute. So anyways, guys, before we go ahead and jump on into it, I want to go ahead and say if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button as well as consider hitting that subscribe button as well. It'd be greatly appreciated, guys. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, and we are close. So I believe we can do it, y'all. Uh, also, if you guys want to check out our cool merch and stuff like that, everything is in the description. It'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Now, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here right now. So uh, like I said, we did a little bit of severe weather coverage here earlier. We were covering this slight risk across portions of Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. You know, honestly, I'm kind of glad that we did kind of end the live stream because I would have held you guys up because really there's been nothing really happening here uh, ever since we did get off of the live stream here um, so they did not issue that watch they did not do anything on that we were actually not even seeing any severe warnings in effect uh, across these locations here the most severe we did see today was those few warnings that was in place across southeastern uh, Colorado where we actually did have an 87 mile per hour wind gust that was reported there which is well in the hurricane strength which was nuts I mean it was pretty daggone crazy and uh, but regardless like I said that's about as crazy as it got today um, you know honestly a few more severe storms could be possible through the next few hours but for the most part like I said I think the system is relatively done for the most part now like I said we move into tomorrow being on Sunday we actually only have a small severe weather threat here for portions here of southern Arizona uh, where the wind threat is the main concern we're not expecting any tornadoes you can see there's no threat there hail the same thing but wind there is a possibility we could see some damaging wind gusts towards the region here near Phoenix uh, all the way down towards like Tuscan and obviously down towards uh, portions like Wilcox and stuff like that so obviously those are the regions where we could see maybe some localized damaging wind gusts maybe up to 60 miles per hour but other than that we are looking relatively fine then we go ahead and take a look here on our Monday's outlook where we're actually not expecting any severe weather other than a few generalized thunderstorms across this light green shaded color so but like I was telling you guys we are panning over here to the tropics because we are watching tropical now tropical depression 9e uh, currently sustained winds of 35 miles per hour now this thing is expected to turn into a tropical storm here by later on tomorrow so we are going to keep an eye on it however there is some good news uh, this is going to be relatively far off the coast of any location here well off the far coast of Mexico just to the west here uh, so it is actually looking relatively okay you know anything the, the most worst you know impacts that this could potentially punch here uh, across Mexico is maybe some rip currents at most uh, maybe some locally higher waves could occur along the coastlines but other than that I mean like I said this thing's not even supposed to get up to hurricane strength just gonna remain a tropical storm for the next few days before dying out and heading more out to sea where the cooler waters are existent and stuff like that so that's kind of the little update here I uh, will give you guys more information on that the day after tomorrow being Monday like I said, I'm not planning on doing anything tomorrow because I'm going down to Bowling Green. If you guys actually heard me what I said earlier. Yeah, so we are going to be heading down to Bowling Green here tomorrow. But now we move over to the uh, Atlantic side. And we actually do have ourselves a new disturbance. Now, National Hurricane Center, you guys, I know you can't see the other screen. But National Hurricane Center has this thing clocking in at a maximum 40% chance of development over the next five days. Basically meaning over the next work week. We have a 40% chance that this thing could turn into a tropical cyclone, kind of similar to 9E. Uh, we are going to continue watching it here. We're not going to really dive into models in this video. Um, like I said, that's going to be needed further down the line because, I mean, right now this thing is expected to track west, but we're not really sure on what is going to happen once it kind of breaks this barrier here between the Windward Islands and up north. So we're not really sure what's going to happen once it moves over in this direction. That is a subject to change, a subject that is going to be needed to be updated over the next little bit. But yeah, so that's kind of what we are expecting here. You know, really not too, too much more severe weather is expected over the next several days. So no severe weather coverages is necessary for the next few days as of now. Also, the tropics here in the eastern Pacific is looking uh, relatively fine. Like I said, for the most part, that storm is well away from areas here of land, which it should be relatively okay. And then obviously, this is something we got to keep our eye on here is this disturbance here uh, as we are seeing a tropical wave, a group of, you know, disorganized showers and thunderstorms that's moving off the west 
western coast of Africa and eventually will develop here in the waters, possibly with a 40% chance of overall development and really 0% chance over the next two days. Um, as this thing still has yet to move its way into the waters, there's no way of it becoming a tropical system in the next two days as it still has to move its way into the waters here. But yeah, so that's kind of the quick little update for you guys. You know, nothing too crazy, nothing too uh, complicated. I just want to go ahead and touch up on what's currently happening here as well as what we can expect here over the next few days. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Tag me down or actually throw, down, throw me down a comment down below uh, if you guys, uh, you know, have any questions. Obviously, we have our Discord and stuff like that in the description. If you guys want to check out our cool merch, uh, you guys can check all that out in the description. There's also all those links there. If you guys would like to help out the channel, you should see a little heart at the bottom that says thanks. That's if you guys do want to, you know, help us out by sending us a donation, obviously, to keep up with radar programs and stuff like that. Just you guys being here, part of the channel, is more than greatly appreciated. That's only if you guys want to take it a step further. If you guys just want to help us out, it'd be greatly appreciated. You guys are the best. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the quick little update here for today. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Saturday night. And I hope you all have a rest, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend in general. Uh, but guys, we'll be, like I said, I'm not sure we'll be live here tomorrow because I'm going to be out of town. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. If I get back early enough, then maybe we'll do a little something, maybe a little personal forecast or whatever. We'll see what we can do. Uh, but if you guys have any more questions, like I said, just throw me down a chat uh, here in the comments. And obviously, if you guys want to uh, join our Discord server, you can ask me stuff there as well. I greatly appreciate you guys. Once again, thank you all for all your support, uh, especially with today's live coverage. You guys absolutely rock. Appreciate all of your support. Thank you guys for being here. But guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Take care, y'all, and have a great weekend.